Back in the days of single console multiplayer and fierce couch rivalries, one of the big name players was the N64 classic Mario Kart. It had everyone's favourite characters, creative tracks straight out of the Nintendo playbook, and a battle mode that united and tore apart long-lasting friendships. <sighs> but I didn't have Mario Kart. I had Snowboard Kids. Ready? Go! Developed by Japanese studio Rakdim back in 1998, Snowboard Kids was riding high on the wave of successful 3D kart races like Diddy Kong Racing. And at first, everything about this game gave the impression it was a simple cash-in job, with painfully over-designed cartoon characters and the radical sport of snowboarding now replacing the standard go-karts. Fortunately, this wasn't the case. Well, I mean, the characters were still really annoying with their stupid haircuts and their high-pitched voices that made you just want to... But the rest of the game, that was awesome. It took all the best elements from kart races at the time, like creative power-ups and exciting track design, but added enough of its own flavour to feel like a completely different genre of racer. For starters, each race was made up of multiple runs down a single mountain, which meant that all the players had to pass through one tiny gate at the bottom to successfully ride back to the top. This mechanic alone made for some of the most chaotic and amusing moments in the game, as my friends and I would collide as we frantically rushed to get through the gate, while whoever was in last could pull a Stephen Bradbury and sail cleanly through into first place. Oh. And just in case that wasn't fiendish enough, the game also let you carry two power-ups at once, which when multiplied with three other players equaled absolute chaos. Especially when one of those power-ups was the diabolically genius Parachute. Allow me to explain. If you manage to hit an opponent with this projectile, they'll be knocked high into the air and then proceed to float slowly to the ground while watching the rest of the field pull ahead. However, should you time your hit just as they prepare to launch themselves off a jump, they could be left hanging for an infuriatingly painful amount of time. Bravo, snowboard kids. Bravo. So, sure, if I had to crown my absolute favourite kart racer on the N64, this probably wouldn't be it. But if all the other favourites happened to crash right at the finish line and I was left to pick my most memorable of the lot, then yeah, it would probably be Snowboard Kids.